Hey guys, these are the new helmet and helmet liner additions to my collection. Uh, these are ones that I've picked up over the last few weeks or so, maybe the past month or so, and I just wanted to share them with y'all today. I'll start with these two right here. I got both of these off of eBay from the same seller. They were both shipped, you know, at the same time. I got them for $40 with free shipping, so it came out to $20 a piece. These are both World War II McCord helmets. They're both rear seam swivel bells and uh, they both have the stainless steel rim um, unfortunately they don't have a liner or chin strap or anything and also I could not make out a heat stamp number on either one of them so more than likely these would late these would date to late 1944 to 1945 but uh, that wasn't too bad uh, twenty dollars a piece that's the most I'd want to pay just for a shell but uh, I didn't do too bad I don't think moving on here we've got this other one this was labeled as a Vietnam era helmet with cover, which I knew this would be 80s, this woodland camo here. But when I got it, it was just a liner, so it was misidentified. But um, I only paid $15 shipping and everything, so I didn't do too bad just for the liner and the cover. Uh, this is actually a Firestone liner. Um, it had a name right here that I couldn't make out with black Sharpie, but, you know, that's... That's unfortunate, but overall, this is a very nice liner. I really like it a lot. It would date to, I believe, 1974, uh, made by the Steinberg brothers. This is a really nice helmet liner. It would go great with one of my Vietnam-era helmets, um, so I'm not too disappointed with this one here. Uh, moving on, I'm really excited about what you see over here. This helmet and lighter set up, I got them for $25 free shipping the helmet and the liner all together $25 the helmet is a World War II McCord front seam fixed bells and this one has a heat stamp number of 730 C which would date this helmet to somewhere around December 1943 you know give or take a month or so around the, right at the end of 1943 on the helmet the liner here is actually a model 1951-52 Micarta liner made by K-Pak and Westinghouse. You see it's got the infantry cross pins right there in the eyelet. It's also got the 60th Infantry Regiment decal on this side. And the other side has the 2nd Airborne Infantry Brigade decal, which I thought was really cool. The inside is overall in really good shape. Um, it had something here written in white, probably the name and everything, but again, I couldn't make it out. Um, but still, this really nice liner right here. This would be, you know, Korean War liner. Um, but overall, a really good addition to the collection. I'm glad I got this. $25. That's a great deal on that. Really great deal. Lastly, I got this yesterday at a flea market. This is a World War II liner made by International Molded Plastics. It's actually a paratrooper liner. You see you got the cotton here that replaced the leather chin cut most of us are familiar with. On the outside it's got the 2nd Infantry decal or half of it. Um, on the other side they use some kind of a tape but it says US. It's hard to make out but it says US and on the back it's got the officer stripe. Uh, they use tape to put on there. I don't know why they didn't paint it but still uh, this is a really nice liner right here. Um, like I said, it's made by International Molded Plastics. I got it for $25, which I believe was a really good deal on it. Uh, it does have some condition issues, you know, corrosion and everything, but um, I've been looking for a lot of World War II liners to go with my helmets, and I'm glad I got this one. I really am. It's a good, good pickup. But anyways, guys, kind of a short video this time. As always, thanks for watching.